subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos hey what's up youtube this is wasi here and in this video i am going to show you how you can resolve the error that is ce347880 on the playstation 4 so let's start the video So you would be encountering an error that is CE347880-0. So you're going to have this error most probably when you're trying to reinstall or installing a new operating system or the system software of your PlayStation 4. Maybe the previous one got corrupted or you installed a new hard drive. So when installing the system software, when you inserted your USB, you're going to get this kind of error. So I'm going to tell you how, how you're going to resolve it. Uh, the process is very simple so let's move towards our pc and i'm going to show you the process so here i'm going to show you how you can solve the error so if you go on to the playstation website where you actually downloaded the system software for your playstation 4 um, the main problem that caused the error was that when you swipe down you would normally see that it says ps4 system update file and here it says download instructions and you have most probably clicked on this link where it says download this file and if i press this link just to show you can see that the size is only 450 mb so the file that you downloaded was not the complete software system software of your playstation 4 it was just an update of your playstation 4 so this was the reason that was causing the error on your playstation 4 because it was saying that you downloaded an update file instead of downloading the whole operating system so if i swipe down more you can see it says ps4 complete system software file and here it is a download this file link so if i press on this link the file size should be around 1 gb you can see 1003 mb if i open the downloads you can see its size is about 1003 mb so this is the complete system software of your playstation 4 the lower one where it says ps4 complete system software file not this one where it says ps4 system software update file if you download this file and insert into usb into your usb following the steps that they have shown then most probably hopefully you will not have this error again so this is the solution for the current problem you are having so guys if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up if you have any kind of questions regarding this video write them in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel consider doing so thank you for watching this video see you guys in the next one